Uh, got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into part four through eight, I believe, of Buttercup, who got cheated on by uh, her step baby daddy. Well, her kid's step baby daddy. Been waiting on me, man. I apologize, but I'm here now. I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments talking about, oh, she must got that good good. She got that good good. I ain't gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? It was straight. It was straight. But it wasn't good enough. I don't know why the f I would throw it off because it wasn't good enough to make me do all that. Plus, she don't even, you know what I'm saying? She don't even. You know, get their head and shit like that, bro. Man, that shit, that shit wack as fuck. I don't even know why the fuck I stayed up. But anyway, though, all right, go to March, y'all. We in March now. I think it was March. Yeah, we, we go to a little spot she always go to out there in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, called Reggae. They done shut it down now. So we up in a little spot or whatever, man. Keep in mind, I, at this point here, I'm on that dumb shit because I'm thinking Buddy steady picking and she ain't with him. So check this out. Before we even went to the, went to the Reggae spot, bro, one day she had asked me, she showed me the old lady on the phone, and, and, and she, the girl with my friend on Facebook, and she asked me, did I know the girl? And I'm like, no, nah. why you, who that is, why you say that? She like, oh, that's uh, such and such. I'm like, why you worried about that, man, bro? But I'm glad you told me, because now he playing with me, I'm finna try to heal him. But I ain't never get around to trying to heal him. So anyway, we go up in a little spot or whatever, and then I asked like, why the Sorry, y'all. I'm like, why you worried about that man, bitch, bro? But I'm glad you were here. And I'm like, nah. Why you, who that is? Why you say this old lady on the phone? And, and, and she's the girl with my friend on Facebook. And she asked me, did I know the girl? And I'm like, nah. Why you, who that is? Why you say that? She like, oh, that's uh, such and such. I'm like, why you worried about that man, bro? But I'm glad you told me, because now he's playing with me. I'm finna try to heal him. But I ain't gonna <laughs> get around to trying to heal him. We go up in a little spot or whatever. And then I was like, why the f you worried about this, bro? Speaking of that, if you wasn't on the live, she called herself going live on me yesterday, y'all. Trying to verify, clarify, all that old shit. Who, who, do we have her TikTok? Bro, you know you can't do that shit with me when I'm telling the God the honest truth. And you know I got receipts. But anyway, I joined the live, y'all. Get what happened. We on there talking about this and that. Let me open it back up. Walk in on them. The same nigga we been talking about. Get with he holler. What the f you doing? If you was on that line your day, you heard. Then they said, what the f you doing? He said, what the, what the f get the f out there? Get what she did. Stay the ass on her. I told y'all that mother one shit didn't. What? And he said, why the f you entertaining that nigga? I said, bro, that's the same thing I was telling her when I was with her about your ass. I said, uh, 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 shake my So head. she stayed with her. Yeah, she still stayed on there. But anyway, back to what we were saying. We up in that little spot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, kicking, getting, getting, getting drunk and shit. Next thing I know, I step outside with a couple more of my partner. We out there talking, sitting around and shit. Next thing I know, that nigga come out there to me. Talking about, bro, you need to come get your girl. And at this point, I go off. Nah, nigga. You, what the f you done said to her? Did I'm going off at this point, y'all? Cause the whole time I'm thinking this nigga been picking, but I ain't pay attention when these niggas were trying to tell me. So I done went off. I'm ready to fight and shit now. Come to find out, she done threw a drink on the in the club. Now this man sitting in here with a new girl or whatever, doing his thing, bro. Y'all, what? So, I got him saying they was on the live yesterday. Oh, oh, they was on the live whenever this happened. She's still living with Buddy Cuz, still with Cuz or whatever. And he, well, she was talking about him. He telling her to get live, she stayed on live. But now, they was at that spot, the spot. I forgot what the spot was called, but it's closed now. Okay, I think I'm caught back up. They was at the spot where it was closed. It's closed now, but they was at that spot, and then she seen him and threw a drink on the nigga. Got it. Why the f if you ain't got no feelings, no relationship with this nigga, period, why you just throw this drink on this man up in, the, up in her, bro? Couldn't have been me, because if I were him, I would have walked the ass upside the guy's head. She had to throw a drink on me. I ain't bullshit. So y'all know I'm hot now. I'm, I'm going off on the ass in the car. She like, bro, why the f If you ain't with this nigga, why the f did you just throw a drink on this man? Y'all, you know, this how me and my cousins talk just a little lower with the country. We can at least 
understand each other. He just do a lot of like cussing and just irrelevant shit to get the point across. I bad for a couple of weeks, y'all. We fall out. I'm talking about we get into it bad, bad. So the girl tell me, uh, she pregnant or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I came into a little career. She left the birth control. I mean, not the birth control. The what it is, the pregnancy, damn pregnancy test. test on the bed, bro. Right. First thing she tell my cousin, my cousin had already called me and told me, bro, like, hey, Drinker just called. She said she pregnant, but she ain't keeping it. Y'all think I'm lying? Hold on. And the call I had right now. Get out. What up with it, cuz? Man, over here on this video, man, trying to, hey, these people, I told you people, I'm going to start dropping these receipts and shit on these drinkers. Hey, listen, though. When Drinka first called you, when she was pregnant, bro, what was the f she, she claimed that I'm the reason. I'm going to get into all that, but she claimed that I'm the reason that uh that uh I, she had the abortion. What was the first thing she told you when she called you before I even found out she was pregnant? You ain't the reason she had no damn She decided to have that girl. She didn't want to take care of no damn child because she was too busy at home. What? That's it? <laughs> I, I'm happy. I wanted my baby and shit. Yo. I done came out the I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> With what we have. Bro, in this, this one truck I had right here. Y'all can see. So I had another truck on the road. So I had two trucks on the road. That's how I drive one. Somebody else drive one. So I didn't come off the road. You know what I'm saying? To try to be here for this girl and this baby. Backstory. Her baby daddy supposedly was never around, you know what I'm saying, the prison in the NFL and shit or whatever. So, you know, she getting a little child for money and shit, but butter don't want no dinners with him, period. So, I'm trying to show her ass different because she done told me how this supposed to been did this and that and all this and that shit, right? He ain't came to no doctor appointment, none of that shit. So, I'm up at the mall. I, oh, rewind. I get off the road in the trucks or whatever, bro. I put somebody in my trucks. And I start driving local. The little local job, up oh, man, I'm sacrificing like a motherfucker, bro. Cause this local job wasn't paying shit. The same local job that she worked at. Man, I couldn't even make a thousand dollars a week. Swear to God. I probably was making eight hundred dollars or something. If it went for my me having money already and these trucks here still running for me, bro, I'd have been broke as a motherfucker trying. You can't manage shit up there that job. But anyway though, I'm trying to show the damn girl different. Oh, you know. Went up here to the appointment doing a little ultrasound thing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all that shit, when did this get louder? <laughs> I love me, Ken the crew. Love you too, friend. Thank you for the resub. I gotta cut that down. So the mother had steady me hollering. We need to talk. We need to talk. She's steady trying to have talks to me about having a abortion. And I'm steady trying to, you know what I'm saying, to convince this girl not to kill my baby. Whole time my mom and her ill. The mama think a whole nother story, but yeah, whole time her mama in the ear telling her she need to have her boss because her mama ain't like me anyway. But I ain't feel y'all in on all that right though. See, her mama always liked it that, that she with now. See, I wasn't no play in it. But anyway, that's another story. I had to come back with y'all with this shit on another day. Stay hmm. tuned for part five. It's finna drop it in the next hour or two. He's so country, bro. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm just all sent. Surviving my history. So, y'all yeah, come out the road and shit or whatever, man. So, listen. She had steady man, you know what I'm saying, hollering about this abortion, shit, this abortion. shit. After we done already had the conversation about she was going to keep this baby a thousand times. So, one day, you know what I'm saying, I got into it or whatever. Had an altercation with one of my old partners owed me some money. You know what I'm saying? We ended up falling out and some more shit. Long story short, me and a nigga I used to fuck with got in the truck or whatever and had to run to Kentucky to pick up my horse trailer. I ran to Kentucky to pick up my horse trailer, bro. On the way back, you know what I'm saying? She had already been talking about she wanted to do something or whatever, like go out of town and shit for a weekend or something. She never said go out around town. She wanted to go out to another state somewhere out of town. So on the way back, he, you know what I'm saying? But like, oh, uh, you what you doing tonight? I'm like, man, 
None really. I'm a, uh, he was like, he want to do such, 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 go to Birmingham, such, 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 such. So I'm like, all right, man, let me holler at Drinker or whatever, see what she got going on. I'm going to let you know. So I end up hollering at her or whatever. And she just went off and she talking about, you know, I've been trying to go somewhere, blase this, blase that, and all that old. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, bro. Come on. I told my partner, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to go on to the crib or whatever. And she, I'm going to catch up with him later on. But if anything change, I'm going to hit your line. So, I'm, I get to the crib or whatever. Keep in mind that she said she wasn't going nowhere. She told me, uh, after we had that big ass argument, bro, you know, I know how females is. They'll tell you, go ahead, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, they want your head to come on. So, she on the phone telling me she wasn't going to do no, go on, do me, and blah, 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 blah. So, I, 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 she's talking about. I'm finna go to the crib. I get to the crib. She got clothes laid out on the bed and shit. Like, where you going? I thought you just said you weren't going no fuck up. Whole time, y'all, she ignoring me. She up and now, uh, getting dressed and shit. I'm like, I'm, I'm steady ass her like, bro, what the fuck you got going? What the fuck you going? Blah, 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 blah. She ignoring me. One, I'm already getting pissed off now. At this point, I'm getting pissed the fuck off. Then, she up there playing music and shit on my mother speaker music like this right here this kind of music right here mm -mm. Yeah. she up there playing shit like this right here every time i see someone <laughs> playing that shit all loud crazy shit, all. thing i'm like i know i ain't gonna beg you she was sick of his ass well this in his bathroom was playing this shit and my speaker loud and throwing shots and shit. So I said, this shit. I'm finna go. I called my partner, he ain't on the phone. Called him, he ain't on the phone. I done called him 50 times, he found the house. I'm on the way back over there. We finna go out. Get what, y'all? What? That same spot, reggae, I was just telling y'all. Reggae. About, I, that I went to? Yep. We go up in there. Guess who up in there? Him. Her ass. Her ass. Let me rewind, though. She called, at, at this point, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Right. There was so much going on, I was fed up. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I texted her, hey, hey, I ain't tell y'all, she snuck behind my back and bought them guys pills, and they told me shit. So the whole time, she got them on the side over here, and I ain't know about it. But that's what you want to keep the baby for? Why would you want to do that? Just bring it to my attention, I guess. So, I, so, so, bro, I find out she had the shit behind my back, whatever. I shoot her a text. I'm like, hey. You took them pills. Because at this point, I don't want to deal with her no more. I ain't trying to deal with the her, having my child no more. None of that shit. So then she, I'll do you a favor. I'll just stay in the night and I'll take them. Or whatever. So I'm like, I bet. Bet. Then I cut my location off on my phone because we were sharing location. Uh -huh. So I already knew. I done came up. I got out my trucks and shit off the, off the road or whatever, bro. Right. I'm already knowing. I'm driving local. I'm already knowing, bro. I, I wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying, quit like that on them folk, bro. So, I knew when I left, left that moment, even though I still had my own house and shit in Jackson, I wasn't trying to go back to Jackson like that then. So, I said, I already knew I was going to stay in my partner crib until I got me a crib out there. Right. So, I turned my location off so she wouldn't know where the fuck he stayed in because I know she was going to be popping up and all that shit. So, she wasn't new. So, got when it. I turned it off, she hit me on. Uh, so, they would for, stay with them tonight. Blase did, blase did. I'm ignoring them. Then she shoot me a text. Yo, shit, I'm putting your shit outside and all this shit. Huh. I'm like, bro, what the... And then she put her brother and sister in my shit. Got them told my shit out too, bro. Because I had a truck. I had an L-150 that was still over there at her spot. Right. Even though I was in my dooley, that don't mean nothing. Her brother them helping her, told my shit out and all this shit. I'm talking... When I tell y'all guns, bro, I'm talking about how all the guns... Y'all know I'm a I'm a uh, red bottom man, Giuseppe shoe wearing, Alexander McQueen wearing, and you know what I'm saying. And I got a little Jays in the mix. She got all my shit, putting it all outside in the truck, on the back of the truck. I'm about, I'm talking about truck just full of my shit I had over there. Uh -huh. Then we're in a damn apartment complex, people outside looking and everything, bro. Right. And this, I told her, don't touch my shit, bro. I'll be over there to get my shit in the morning. Still put my shit. I told my partner let ride through there, bro, to the link. The stayed in the links over there and took a loose. I said let ride through Tuck there, bro, and see if this girl really that put my shit out. We ride through there, y'all. My shit in the truck, and get what? 
my truck unlocked. But that ain't the crazy part. The crazy part about it, she done posted all my shit on Snapchat talking about come get it. Free and shit. Oh, man, I went the fuck off. Stay tuned for part six. This shit finna get even better. Even better. I'll recap of part six, Survive My Ex. So after that shit happened, y'all, you know what I'm saying? It was a big ass thing. Man, some kind of way this shit led to Facebook, bro. So big <laughs> ass commotion break out on Facebook. I don't remember exactly how this shit happened, but it was her people, my people, you know what I'm saying? They going back and forth at it on Facebook and shit. But y'all, y'all remember the partner I told y'all about that I fell out with? Um, I told y'all I was going to come back to it. Right. Keep in mind, this nigga was like my brother. I'm talking about he called my daddy pops. You, you know thought. what I'm saying? He look at my mama like a mama and shit. Right. Like, my whole family knew the nigga because he had been around so long, bro. We were like, we came up from like ninth grade or something. Nah, eight. Man, I don't even remember. It was like some middle school day type shit. We used to run the streets doing dumb shit together. Right. But I already knew it was some weird shit. Because one day, this nigga going to tell me, man, I can f drink him, bro. And I'm like, nigga, what the f <laughs> I'm looking at, I'm like, man, what the f you mean type <laughs> shit? He was like, man, that girl too f friendly. Blase this, blase that, and all that old shit. I know it's some weird shit going on then. So then, back to the Facebook, y'all. Oh, let me rewind. He been ready to risk it all for Drinker since day one, y'all. Man, the nigga was staying on me, bro. The man ain't want to pay a bill. I mean, he was staying, you know, he didn't want to pay a bill and shit. Man, this man had this like, rob these folks at Walmart about the car shit. I'm talking about bunch of shit, bro. Then I ain't know a bunch of scamming ass shit I ain't know about. And uh -huh. we supposed to be like this here. I don't know about this shit, bro. But the crazy part about it is, she knew about this shit. So, something had to been going on. Like, they done had some conversations with each other uh -huh. or something, bro. But, back to the Facebook shit. Uh -huh. Guess who the first person come on my post defending her was? Who? His ass. The friend. He on Facebook talking about, yeah, she been wanting me. She got a real man now. And all what? that shit screenshotting. They phone conversation. How long my they boy was with a slur. A slur. She was for the screech. It was for the screech. Y'all, she was for the screech. I don't understand. Hold on, let me. Y'all, this girl belonged to the streets, okay? When they been on the phone, hours and shit. I'm like, what the f But the crazy part about it is, bro, this man real life want to fight, too. But I couldn't even fight the man, though, bro. I'm going to be real, though, bro. I had so much love for the nigga, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even fight the man, That bro. happened to me before. The man wanted to meet up and fight and all that shit, bro. I'm like, bro, you want to fight over a bit? You know what I'm saying? That Definitely happened to me before. That pregnant by me right now? Like, what the f***? That's real to me, bro. But yeah, I was headed to my partner house. Drinker with... got a hole on it. You know what I'm saying? I asked that. You know what I'm saying? About the pill. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, TikTok, y'all wrong to delete my part six, y'all. I should have said that shit to my phone, bro. Should have said that shit to my phone. I don't even remember what all the hell I said in six. I ain't going to lie to y'all. So I'm going to turn around and post part seven right now. <laughs> I ain't got no haircut, but it finna get dark, and I don't want to leave y'all waiting all night. I can't promise y'all I'm going to drop eight tonight, if it is an eight, but I'm finna get y'all seven. I like to wait for the stories, y'all. But we're going to end this month with the moral of the story. The last video to the documentary is going to be the moral of the story. Uh -huh. For ourselves. So, y'all, we have a big ass falling out or whatever and shit, right? Me and Buddy never end up fighting or whatever, but, man, it was so much shit that went on in between. You know what I'm saying? Between her, my baby mama and them and shit, they, you know what, man, it was so much, bro. I had to bring that documentary another day. But, yeah, months down the road, y'all, we the start back talking again. Don't judge me, neither. Cause y'all done Too had late. that, that, that y'all was with, and y'all done went back to it. After they done did all this bullshit, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> so, yeah, we was sitting at the bar one day, man, and I done called and told her to pull up. We back, you know what I'm saying, like this here. It ran crimmer time now. We're almost crimmer time. Crimmer. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I knew she was back. 
with buddy. No, the n she with now. Criminal time. She back with that n too again. This second go round. She can't let Cub then go. Then that old blue singing ass. I'll be what a he'll be texting her phone. I don't know what type of cat or head she put on that n but God. And Nigga, I know he ain't talking. She wasn't even giving him no head. But not only that, he was just as sprung. But just as sprung. Crazy hell. Oh, baby, please don't do that. I love you. Please don't do this, baby. And all that old shit. Girl, I fell for you fast. And all that old shit. <laughs> she running up and down the road. Keep in mind, y'all, I used to never come off the road to a cook. I'm a hard-working ass. I done got off the road, came to help you with these kids because uh. you supposed to be pregnant. Got in my truck. I'm losing money. All this shit, bro. One of my biggest things was, was cooking, bro. Man, this didn't never want to cook. Two things. She ain't never want to cook or hit the head. She would hit the head when she wants to. But that mother ain't never want to cook, bro. I'm always coming in off the road, bro. No food. No food. I got to eat the same shit at the house I was eating when I was on the road. Ooh. If I want to go eat Wendy's or uh, some bull ass around town, what the fuck I come in for? Bull ass yard. But anyway, though, you know what I'm saying? We catching up on what the fuck going on when we went talking. And she telling me, God, something she started to like up the road or whatever. And shit, up there in Alabama somewhere. She cooking, driving up the road, taking that plate. I'm like, hold on, you were cooking by that and she driving way up the road and shit. That's why she ain't wanna cook for you, gang. And you couldn't even do none of this shit with me and I was right here. Oh Who knew? man. So yeah, bro. So I'm uh I'm over there, whatever. We we talking about this shit here or whatever, man. And then when uh Buddy the Blue singing that nigga come up and shit. Cause I just wanna know, like, bro, what the Really going on. All right. So, my partner and them telling me, everybody telling me, man, you better than this, bro. Blah, say this, blah, say that. But I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, bro. Huh? When you in love with a 